checking on Money Matters this morning. Which industries will lose and win depending on today's election results? And what election outcome would be considered kind of worst case scenario for stocks? Jen King joins us live from the NASDAQ with these stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. You know, I know yesterday there was a big rally. How are stocks doing as we head into this election day? Very quiet. So totally different scenario today at the moment. Uh, the Dow's looking at about a 20-point loss. So just modestly lower. Uh, we were up about 9 or 10. So uh, this, of course, after you mentioned that big rally that we had yesterday, the Dow gaining 371 points. The FBI did clear Hillary Clinton in the email scandal, sh a scandal she has seen as more friendly and predictable to Wall Street. So uh, that was behind that rally that we had. Now, historically, stocks do rise on Election Day and then fade in the days after. We'll see what happens this year. So Jane, what are experts saying about the biggest near-term threats to stocks at least, you know, as based on the results today? Well, it is from the outside possibility that neither Donald Trump nor Hillary Clinton emerges a clear winner tonight and tightening polls in key states. Florida, of course, that means it is a possibility that that can't be ignored. And I'm sure you remember the 2000 presidential election. It was not decided until mid-December. And the S&P 500 fell 8.4% from Election Day until that time. When you look at the market sector by sector, which sector stands to be the most impacted by the results tonight? Well, let's start with energy because Hillary Clinton wants to get rid of coal, transition that industry into renewable fuels. Donald Trump has been very vocal about boosting coal and bringing those jobs back to states like West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Pharmaceuticals uh, could move. Clinton wants to put a cap on drug prices. Defense companies would gain, we believe, on a Trump presidency. Companies that depend on immigrants for the workforce like Tyson Foods could benefit from a Clinton win. So really going to be interesting to see what happens in the fallout from this election vote. Yeah, considering it's not just obviously the presidential race, but also you're talking House, right. um, local Senate races, uh, and the U.S. Senate. How could it, you know, the, the winds impact the economy, you think, today? Well, Wall Street tends to do better when it's divided. So Democrat president, Republican House, or vice versa. Also remember, five states are voting on legalized marijuana today. So if they approve, especially California, that would pave the way for possibly a federal law and create an entirely new industry. And the gun makers like Smith & Wesson and Sturm Ruger will react to the results as well today. So a lot, a lot of, of business implications, Bruce and Jen. Yep. All right, Jane, thanks. Have a good day.